in the, well, looking over the Mara River here in southern Kenya. My name is Steph Vinterboer and I am manning a selection of static cameras on the banks of the world famous Mara River, hoping to show you some sights and sounds, or well, maybe not so much sounds, but at least some sights from this fantastic river and the ecosystem surrounding it. Currently, I'd love to show you, well, I am showing you, uh, Dusty Crossing. And Dusty Crossing has risen in volume of water quite considerably over the last 24 hours. And the reason for that is that we've had a lot of rain here. In actual fact, last night was one of the biggest storms that we've had here in quite some time. And you can actually see how much the river is just flowing. The volume of water is just considerable. To give you an example, and for those of you who've watched the show for some time, you'll notice that a crocodile used to like lying in this area that is between this island. And now, it, where it was dry, now the water is just lapping and coming over the top. It must have risen a good couple of inches. And you can imagine, for a place like this, a good couple of inches means a lot of rain has fallen, especially since uh, Kenya is in the grips of a bit of a drought and the ground is still very thirsty. And ground, or the water table at least, is still very low, very depressed uh, compared to what it needs to be. And as you can see from that very black sky over there, that the rains have not finished yet. Totally against to what should be happening. I say what should be happening. I mean, Mother Nature knows exactly what she's doing. But uh, this is supposed to be the dry season here in Kenya. Anywhere from about the end of April, May, June to about the beginning of November, December is considered the dry season without rain. We've had, every, we've had rain here every single day, which is fantastic, let me tell you. Our camp gets water from a little dam in a valley just next to us. And um, that dam drops by inches every day, and every day it gets filled up by inches again with the rain in the afternoon. Why don't we go and have a look at Main North Crossing, if we can. If there was going to be a, a rapid that shows our oh, Willow Wonder, I'll be with you in one second about the muddy water. Could we possibly go to Main North, please, Chantal? We've got a wildebeest carcass that is floating down in this in the uh, oh, there we go. That is a wildebeest carcass. There was a mass drowning here. A a few, well, I'd say now, probably about a week ago now, these carcasses that are coming down are putrid. And we're seeing a bunch of carcasses moving down, especially when the water's high. And this is just one of those carcasses, I think that was washed up or stuck up on the bank somewhere and has now been, been left to go down the river again and feed, uh, you know, a bunch of animals in pools where potentially there wasn't that much uh, food over the last couple of weeks. So that's how food gets distributed up and down this river system. Sad to know that that wildebeest probably drowned in the crossing, um, but to be honest with you, it, it, helping the food chain in general uh, quite considerably. Now, Willow Wonder, you want to know the water looks quite brown? It absolutely does, and that is because <clears throat> there's a lot of runoff here at the moment, and the runoff, of course, means that it picks up little bits and pieces of silt and mud and etc. And uh, as you can see, these rapids are churning at the moment. There's a big breeze blowing, and that is why the camera is shaking like it is. There's a storm busy blowing up into the Mara, and, uh, and it is giving this camera a shakedown of note. Why don't we go and see what is happening at Main South, if that's okay? There we go. That is Main South. That is just a little bit downstream of where we've just watched uh, that wildebeest carcass come down, and I'm, I'll give it a couple of seconds and I'm sure we'll watch that wildebeest carcass come floating down here as well. Uh, I did notice that there were some vehicles parked on the edge of the bank and that is always a good sign, you know, that we quite often miss 180 degrees of action behind these cameras because we can't actually see behind us. And I'm sitting a few miles away, let's see if we can see where I'm sitting on the escarpment in the background, let me see. Let's go right over here and see if we can see the no, just hidden behind there. So that tall little bit, I'm sitting directly behind the tallest bit of that mountain, just to the right of your screen. In the center, just above center at the moment, I'm sitting just behind that hill. 
controlling this camera all the way from there. Isn't it the most amazing thing? The fact that we can remotely control cameras live and stream it to you live, the fact that we can in an instant take you three and a half thousand miles south to my friend Tristan who's scouring Juman and bring you back and send you to the other side of this river with James who Taylor who's hiding away from the storm at the moment, James who's, I don't know what James is doing at the moment, busy, no doubt, he always is. Now, I haven't seen that carcass come down here now, which means that it's probably got snagged on something, which is not too bad, because that's exactly how the crocodiles in this area eat. Oh, Kathy, you've asked me a question here that I have no answer to at the moment. Um, you've asked me what the average rainfall is for the season here. Kathy, I, I, it, it, it's, it is my fault entirely. I actually should know this answer. Any guide worth their, their salt is, uh, would be able to tell you what the average rainfall is for this month, probably for this week, what the average rainfall is for the year. But to be honest with you, Kathy, I, I actually don't know. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, get back to you on that one. And uh, hopefully I can find it relatively easily. Normally these things are, uh, are quite easily come by on, uh, over the internet and I'll see if I can find it. Otherwise I will, um, I'll email one of my friends in the conservation department here in Mara and see if he can tell me. Alright, I am going to go and look for that Cathy and re very red faced at the moment and hanging my head in shame I'm going to be sending you over to Taylor who's sitting with some lions.